Hello, I'm Elias and I'm here to present our latest work on high precision instant segmentation to detect individual leaves in real field point clouds. Here you can see different models predicting food demand until 2050. They all have one thing in common. Food demand is going to increase. One way to address this problem is the development of new crop varieties that are more productive and resistant to droughts and diseases. For the development of these new varieties, field trials need to be evaluated in a process called phenotyping, which currently is mainly done by field experts. To automate organ level phenotyping, we need to detect individual leaves, which is the focus of our proposed work. Given an input point cloud like the one shown here on the left, we want to know which points are part of which leaf, which is color coded in the point cloud on the right. We developed a learning-based autoencoder pipeline for point cloud segmentation that shows slightly increased performance with respect to existing approaches. There are, however, still many wrong predictions in the output. Therefore, in a similar fashion to the selective phenotyping of the field experts, we want to keep only part of the leaves for further analysis. To detect the best leaves to keep, we added another encoder shown here in green that takes as input the original point cloud and the predicted instances and outputs a confidence score for each leaf instance. We can then use these confidences to filter the predictions. As you can see here, our predicted confidence is better suited for filtering out unprecise instances than the baselines. The more predicted instances you discard, the higher gets the precision of the remaining instances. We present an approach that has improved leaf instance segmentation performance, works on real field data and filters out uncertain leaf instances based on a predicted confidence. We showed also that this filtering does not change the leaf size distribution substantially. That's all from my side. Thank you for your attention and please use the QR code you see here on the bottom to access our paper and our release code.